action. Hi, I'm Mark Walter with Sunbridge Solar, and today we're going to talk about how to square the first module of an array, as that is the most important part to take care of while you're putting the modules down. So the first few things that we did were, A, we made sure that these rails were completely straight with no wave, because that's going to affect the process that we're going to use here. And B, we also made sure that we marked on all the rails and on the roof where the module should be, so that we can know the exact height and distance on the rail so we don't run out of rail at the end. Now this is important because you know, on a two or three module array like what we're doing here, it's not that big of a deal if you're a tiny bit off, but if you have a 10 module array or 15 module array, the tiniest difference can make it look very crooked from the ground. So we got to really spend a lot of time on this and get it right the first time. So the way we do it here is we got a string attached to the end of the rail and we've got the first corner already in because that's going to not really change the distance of the module on, in terms of the height from the rail. So we go ahead and measure this spot. Looks like it's going to be 8 and 3 eighths inches. And you want to be as exact as you can be without being crazy about it. And then we attach the string to the corner of the rail here. We pull it out. And at this point, we bring it to the end of the rail, or the end of however long your array is going to be. Make sure that we get the right distance here. And I'm going to pull the string taut and make it the same distance from the rail here. And then Tony's going to balance the array down a little more, a little more, one more. Perfect. There we go. And from there, we're going to put in the top end clip. And you've got a perfectly straight array. There you go.